it is done. The sun is conquering the sky, and my grandmother and I are heaving prayers at the horizon. Show me something unbeautiful, she says, and I will show you the veil over your eyes and take it away, and you will see Hoja all around you, inside of you. This morning, my grandmother is teaching me the meaning of Hoja. Although there is no direct translation from the Nehbizar, the Navajo language, into English, every living being knows what Hoja means. For Hoja is in every drop of rain, every eyelash, every leaf on every tree, every feather on the bluebird's wing. Hoja is undeniable beauty. Hoja is in every breath that we give to the trees, and in every breath that they give to us in return. Hoja is reciprocity. My grandmother knows the meaning of Hoja well. For she speaks a language that grew up out of the desert floor like red sandstone monoliths that rise like arms of the earth into the sky, praising creation for all of its brilliance. Hoja is remembering that you are a part of this brilliance. It is finally accepting that, yes, you are a sacred song that brings the Dejende Ne'e, the gods to their knees in an almost unbearable ecstasy, Hoja is remembering your own beauty. And my grandmother knows this well, for she speaks the language of a Luka Chukai snowstorm, the sound of hooves hitting the earth on birthdays, for my grandmother is a midwife and she is fluent in the language of suffering mothers, of joyful mothers, of handing glowing newborns to their creator. Hojo is not something you can experience on your own, the eagles tell us, as they lock talons in the stratosphere and fall to the earth as one Hojo is inter beauty. And my grandmother knows Hojo well, for she speaks the language of the male rain that shoots lightning boys through the sky, pummels the green corn children, and huddles the horses against the cliff sides in the early afternoon. She also speaks the language of the female that sends the scent of dust and sage into our homes and shoots rainbows out of and into the earth. Asteneh, we know what Hoja means. And each and every one of you knows what Hoja means. And deep down, we know what Hoja does not mean. Like the days we walk in sadness, like the days we live for money, the days we live for fame, the days we live for tomorrow. Like the day the Spaniards came, climbed down from their horses and asked us if they could buy the mountains. We knew this was not Hojo, but we knew we could make it Hojo once again. So we melted their silver swords and their coins with fire and buffalo hide bellows and reshaped them into squash blossom jewelry pieces and strung it around their necks. We took the helmets straight off of their heads and turned it into a fearless beauty. Hojo is the healing of broken bones. Hojo is the prayer that carried us through genocide and disease. It is the prayer that will carry us through global warming, through this global fear that has set our souls on fire. This morning, my grandmother is teaching me that the easiest and most elegant way to defeat an army of hatred is to sing it beautiful songs until it falls to its knees and surrenders. It will do this, she says, because it has finally found a sweeter fire than revenge. It has found heaven. It has found Hojo. This morning, my grandmother is saying to the colors of the sky at dawn, Hojo na hasle, Hojo na hasle, Hojo na hasle, and beauty is restored again. It is dawn, my friends. Wake up the night is over.